What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York, invading California for NAMM 2018. This time we got one of the greatest drumming machines out there, Tim Young of I Am Morbid. Thank How's you so going, much. Man? Yeah. Great to have you here. You've been very, very busy lately. I know you were doing some tours with I Am Morbid and everything well, like that. Yeah, I've been busy sparingly. I, mean, I wouldn't say extremely busy, but we, we I just started, uh, well, last year, we, uh, me and David Vincent, David, and Vin David Vincent and I, and uh, Ira Black and Bill Hudson, uh, we got together and... Uh, we're doing I Am Morbid, and it's uh, essentially the uh, Altars of Madness, Blessed of the Sick, Covenant, Domination era Morbid Angel songs. And uh, we're getting together and we're, you know, playing these, uh, playing this material. It's been really cool. It's been fun. Excellent. Now, you've been involved in a lot of projects, whether it's been uh, I, Divine Heresy. I know you were involved with those records. Yep. And, and uh, you played on the Westfield Massacre record, I know, and everything else. So depending on where you're playing or who you're playing with, do you have like a different mind frame or songwriting process or methodology? Not really. I mean, it just depends on what, well, I mean, it just depends on what, what genre or subgenre or if there's a certain, you know, a certain direction the music wants, to, you know, if, if there's a certain percept or like, you know, uh, you know, if, if, if the writer or the songwriter, if this, the music is wants to go a certain direction, yeah, I guess you play accordingly for the song or whatever you're doing. But um, yeah, you just kind of do your thing and, and, and feel it out. If it's, it just depends. If there's one guy writing and he wants, you know, let's do this, or, uh, great. Or if I write a song or I incorporate a riff or show someone I, and I want it and I'm, I'm visioning it to go a certain way, then I'll play it another way. But it, it really depends. I mean, it, it, usually for me, the, I, I just... I, I just kind of do my own spin on it. I don't really overthink it. I, it's kind of, yeah. you know, I'm almost saying, like, what the hell do I do? And I don't really, you know, you just play for the song and play whatever comes from here, I guess, you know? Yeah, definitely. Now, um, I'm curious because you are, like, really fast and really heavy with your stuff. And we talked a little bit about gear last night at the Hilton. Yeah. But I was drinking, so I don't remember a lot oh, of it. No worries. But, uh, Everyone's drinking. Yeah. I'm having a sober now. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know how you do it. But uh, it's all right. But, uh, it's actually more entertaining. So. I would love to know what your weapons of choice and your gear is. Uh, as far as gear, I play D-Drum right now. I'm playing the Dios kit, which they just reintroduced, second generation. Uh, Dios kit's all maple shell, uh, DW hardware, Axis percussion, Axis pedals, Sabian cymbals, Remo drum heads, Reunion blues cases. Am I running out of, uh, am I forgetting anyone? No, I think that's about it. That's all it's covered. Yeah, because what I've always, and I've, I think I've mentioned this to every drummer I interviewed at NAMM, but you know, obviously playing a drummer, you got to keep the rhythm and the beat going to keep everything in tempo. But it's crazy to think that that one concept has inspired so many pieces of hardware to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Well, I mean, there's a lot going on with drums. There's a lot. There's a lot of moving parts, working parts. Just the pedal alone. There's just so many moving pieces on a, on just hitting the kick drum. Yeah. So yeah, it is. It's a little more involving. There's a lot more gear. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But uh, before we go, I want to truly thank you so much for your time, Tim. Thank you, man. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Is there anything you would like to promote? Can we be expecting any new music or anything like Not that? Not really. I mean, uh, we'll be doing I Am Morbid. We're doing those songs. Me and David are thinking about maybe coming out with uh, maybe doing some newer stuff. But right now, if, uh, if anybody that liked the previous Morbid Angel lineup with Vincent and, and myself, um, they'll definitely like I Am Morbid. We're going to try to do some one-off stuff in the U.S. eventually. But, uh, yeah, check us out. And... Uh, your Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff, and I'm pretty easy guy to find as well. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Tim. Thanks, Everybody, man. Tim Young of I Am Morbid. Be sure to check them out. This is Alex from Heavy New York, invading California for NAMM 2018. We'll see you next time.